our broadcast of the NBA. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. Durant, Ibaka, and Perkins compose the front court. Westbrook and Cephalosha in the backcourt. And for the Heat, Chalmers and Wade are the one and the two. Chris Bosh is out there with LeBron James. And it's Turioff in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. You know, you go back to the finals, and I think Bosh certainly was a factor on the floor. He didn't have the best shooting percentage, but he got better as that series wore on. Here's Durant. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Well, going back to Bosch, guys, uh, in the finals, he was inconsistent with his shooting percentage, but he had stretches uh, where he was really good. And he remember he hit that game-winning shot in game three. I thought he was overall uh, pretty solid for the Heat uh, last season and in the playoffs. And he stepped in the line, so they turn it over. He just lost track of where he was on the floor. Here is Perkins. They double him with LeBron. It's stolen by Wade. Doris Burke has an... Oh! Now that's a special order right there. Not everybody can cap off a dunk like that. Yeah, very difficult maneuver, but a tremendous one if you can pull it off. Out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Here's Westbrook. Look, I mean, the Thunder two seasons ago managed to give the Lakers a run for their money in the first round, but in this last season's playoffs, they put the league on notice that their sights were and are much higher. Oklahoma City on D. Goes up. And the basket by Turioff. You know what? That's what you like to see. A perfect pass leading him right into the shot. Didn't even have to break stride. I think, Clark, around the league, the Thunder have been held up as the example of how you build a contender from the ground up. They certainly, Steve, lived up to that phrase, I thought, this past season. Yeah, they really seem to have all the pieces that a team needs to contend for a championship. The star player in Kevin Durant, great point guard, and Russell Westbrook. They've got complementary pieces as well. And now it's just a matter of letting this team grow and move forward together. Shots good by Ibaka. Ibaka's got his first bucket in this one. And they're on fire. They've made four straight shots to get this thing going. Good defense there. He was just waiting for that one. Off the inbound pass. First miss of the game after four makes, so it's been a hot start. LeBron with the bucket. Mark and Steve, eight lead changes now, and we're still just in the first half. You know, both teams showing a lot of resilience, I think. Coming back and coming back, back and forth, back and forth. That reminds me of a song. Yeah, I'm not sure I've seen a game with so many lead changes this early on. Here's Cephalosha. Deflected. LeBron against Durant. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Eight points for Kevin Durant. When the Heat struggled early on last season, Eric Spolster was unfairly thrown on the hot seat. He kept his cool, though, very impressively, and the Heat turned their season around and the talk quieted down. That's a credit to Spolster. Come on now, I didn't see. Can you believe that <laughs> finish? Or a little bit of flair and flavor at the end of it. Oh, that'll be a fan favorite, yeah. all right. That was not your average typical dunk. Boy, he hung him out to dry that time. A terrific reverse. You can't help but be amazed oh, by that man. dunk. man. That's one to remember, huh? Back to Spolster of Miami. Clark, with the way that he'd finish, you have to think things will change. I know, Steve, you were very impressed the way he managed that team in the postseason. Yeah, I thought Eric Spolster was great. Now, a lot of people are focusing on the final series when Rick Carlisle stole the show. But uh, to be fair to Spolstra, he inherited a very difficult situation with a lot of talent but huge expectations. And I think Miami had a solid year, a, ve a very good year. The question now is can they get back to the finals and finish the job? 136 left here in the first quarter. Cannot hit. And Miami will go the other way with the ball. Stepped in the line, out of bounds there, and that will cost them the possession.
The Heat with the lead. You got to wonder, has Miami set off a bit of an arms race in regards to talent with what they were able to pull off last year? Are other teams going to look to snack stars just to try to keep up? Now here's LeBron. Six points for him. Here's Bosch. Slams it on the run. When in doubt, punch it down. As easy at two points as you can get. Safe to say, that's a pretty high percentage shot, guys. Mark, you brought up the stars wanting to play with each other. You know, Steve, it, it seems like that is the trend now in the NBA. Well, I think every player wants to play with, with great players. And it's all circumstantial, really. If, if you're a free agent and uh, there's a team with cap room and you've got a uh, partner who you want to play with and you can work it all out like Miami did, then that's great. But I think those circumstances are going to be few and far between. Well, using his height advantage against the much smaller man. That was the right play to make there. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. You know, with all the criticism that LeBron had in his move to, to Miami, all the criticism he received, it probably in some ways served as motivation for him after he got over the hurt and the pain of it. I mean, his mental makeup was a lot less jovial and more, um, more focused and more serious and Part of that is growing up, but I think part of it was the um, byproduct of what he had gone through. And the Heat making a change here. Jones has checked in. And the Thunder also making a change. Aldrich has checked in. Tell you what, there's not much he can't do out there, guys. The Heat leading by four. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Double team on Wade. Ibaka comes with the double team. Releases from 15. And Bosch gets it to go on the assist by Wade. Six points for Chris Bosch. Boy, a fast start here. Their offense has been very impressive. Yeah, they're making their own luck, Clark. Really playing with a purpose offensively. First free throw is good. So both teams making some changes here. And so he makes both from the line. Here's Chalmers, looking for his first bucket of the game. Here's Wade. Good! That's got to feel good. Well, despite the size disparity, he boxed out, did a really nice job blowing up and getting that rebound. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. So for Oklahoma City right now, Cephalosha is the two with Durant at the three. Ibaka and Collison up front. And it's Westbrook in at the point. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Hi, Kevin. Well, one of the things that was key to the Miami Heat's success was Coach Eric Spolster showing his level-headedness throughout the turbulent season last season. His calm demeanor helped in what was a season under the microscope. Dwayne Wade said of Spo, one thing I always said about Coach Spo is he's even. He's even keel. He never gets too high or too low. And that is what helps this team win games, guys. Thank you, Doris. A lot of coaches wouldn't have been able to deal with the season that he'd had last year. Yeah, a lot of ups and downs, and even in that finals matchup against Dallas, Spolster kept his cool. That was good awareness. Fouling and avoiding giving up an easy dunk. Well, I think that's just good, smart basketball. Make him earn his points at the line. You know, three years in the league, and in each of those years, Russell Westbrook has played all 82 games. Oh, what a blessing to be young and healthy. Fades. Thunder with the rebound. And the fadeaway was about his only option there. Really good defensive position. Boy, that takes a lot of strength to finish a play like that while you're getting fouled. Boy, and he had it on display right there, partner. I mean, that was muscle. That was strength on display finishing that shot. Talking about Westbrook's streak, Steve, you know, he never missed a game at UCLA either. Well, how valuable is that, Kevin? When you have a point guard who you can rely on to be there for you every single night. Reminds you a little bit of Andre Miller, uh, just the way he uh, performs for his team on a nightly basis. Boy, what a great job of getting into the teeth of the defense and scoring in the paint. And that's been their main point of attack. I mean, get the ball deep, 
and try to score from in tight rather than rely on their outside shooting. I mean, that's a more consistent way to score, take it inside. Well, he rotated defensively, but probably just a little bit too late, and good call. He didn't quite get to the spot. That's always a bang-bang call for the officials. He got that one right. Goes up, and the rejection by Ibaka. Stolen by Bosch. Turi off, and the powerful one-handed slam. And that's the problem when you don't protect the ball. Exactly. When you surrender the ball like that, you put your defense at a huge disadvantage. Well, the West has long been considered the stronger of the two conferences in the NBA, but Miami, with its revamped roster, really had uh, no problem beating Western Conference foes last year. Well, he didn't quit on the play. He defended the shot, contested it, and then got back straight to the glass. It's Ibaka picking him up. Kept alive. Here's LeBron. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. Terrific defense at the rim. They got right in his path. You know, that's part of what great defenders do. They get not only in your path, but in your head a little bit, too. Good game for Westbrook. Nine points and some of his offense coming at the foul line with five points there. Yeah, five pretty big points, Clark. You're right, Steve, going back to Miami in the West, 20 and 10 against that Western Conference. Uh, that was kind of a rarity, Clark. Yeah, Kevin, and if you compare their numbers against the West versus the East, the Heat had a much easier... Oh! Always some entertainment value when you go with the windmill jam. Yeah, rim shaker and Steve a wrist breaker. <laughs> Outrageous, <laughs> man. And Bosch backs down. And here is LeBron. He's got 10. Six to shoot. And there's the three-second violation. Scott Brooks, winner of the 2010 Coach of the Year Award. He and, of course, Kevin Durant have been a big reason why the Thunder have moved up the ladder to become one of the league's elite teams. Udonis Haslam, he's checked in for Miami. That's good from Durant. That one misses, so he goes one for two. The Heat with the lead. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. Well, Kevin, the big three all uniting in Miami was seen as a bit of a triumph from the players' point of view. In a sense, the players got a chance to pick where they wanted to play as opposed to the owners having control of where the players played. In a sense, wrestling away control from the owners. Whether or not that trend continues in the NBA, we'll see. Guys? Thank you, Doris. What those three did in Miami and getting there really did shake things up. Yeah, you know, so much of, of where you play is really out of your hands as an NBA player. So it's tough to, to, to find free agency and to get to that point where you've got uh, guys who you want to play with who are also free agents and a team with that much cap room. So this was a, a rare opportunity for these three players, uh, and they, they joined together. 11 left here in the second. Cephalosha's shot is good. Miami trailing. Now Wade. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Wade's got nine. Three straight buckets in the paint. They're making it look effortless. Well, speaking of effortless, you'd like to see a little more out of the defense. Huh? How about trying, guys? Got the lead just going back and forth here. We're seeing some really good basketball. You know what, guys? I've lost track of how many times the lead has changed. I mean, it's obvious, though, it's been a good one, and either side can pull away. Haslam can't get it to go. And the Thunder with possession. They're on a 16-7 run. Durant against LeBron. Parked down low that time, and he got the three-second pull. The Heat making a switch here. Bosch is checked in. It's a neck-and-neck -neck game here in Miami. Smart call here. They'll play for one shot. That's right. Try to get the last shot of the quarter here, Steve. Good on the shot. Bosch has got 10. They continue to barrel their way inside. And when's the defense going to adjust? 
Well, I'm asking the same question myself, partner. I mean, that's eight points out of their last ten coming inside. That's a gift. I mean, you're just giving possessions away now. Gets it off. The shot is off. He'll be back momentarily. Wade and LeBron are the wingmen. Chris Bosh is out there with Terry off, and it's Chalmers in at the one spot. That's the group on the floor for Miami. You know, when you look at Westbrook, he's not your prototypical point guard. I mean, he's a guy that can make passes, but he's much better when he's attacking the rim, looking to score. A look from Bosh, and the baseline jumper no good. Cephalosia kicks to Westbrook, moving it around nicely. Durant just inside the line. Again, Durant missing. And Clark brought up Westbrook's scoring. Steve, it's so easy for him. It just makes sense. Yeah, he can get around anybody at any time. And I think sometimes it actually hurts Westbrook a little bit because, uh, you know, he has to rein in his own talent and, and understand circumstances and situations a little bit better. But that's all going to come as he gains more experience. And LeBron throws it down hard. Well, he took that one to the rack with some perfect. I'll say beautiful dunk there, Steve. Yeah, how about the agility? Yeah, just the, the power and the skill. Impressive. Well, here's a little factoid for you. With LeBron switch to Miami, guys, he was the first reigning MVP to change teams hmm. since Moses Malone back in 1982. Crazy stuff. And remember what happened when Moses Malone changed teams. That team, Philadelphia, went on to win the NBA title in 83. With Dr. J. Dr. And J and yes. Mo Cheeks. Unbelievable. I, that was my rookie year. So I, so I, you, you I remember banging heads injury. against those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a time. Yeah. Not the kind of pass you want to be making right there. He's lucky it wasn't stolen. James Harden. He's checked in for Tabo Cephalosha. Here's LeBron. 14 points for him. Goes for the alley-oop. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. First, first. Got the shot to drop and has a chance for one more. Boy, that was a tidy little play that time by him to get a chance at three points. Back to what you said about LeBron. Like you said, you just don't see MVPs want to change teams. They're happy where they are. Steve, you can probably talk about that, too. It's uh, it's rare. It is rare. Uh, you know, Shaquille O'Neal left Orlando for L.A. Uh, Steve Nash left Dallas for, for uh, Phoenix. Uh, now, granted, those guys weren't on the same level as LeBron at the time, but uh, it does happen occasionally. But, hey, look, LeBron, probably the, the biggest athlete, biggest star in the NBA, so it made big news. You know, when you watch Wade in recent years, um, he's really developed an outstanding post game with a lot of moves at his disposal, and it's based on excellent footwork. Offensive rebound. The kick out to Westbrook. And the basket good. Westbrook's got 15. Here's Wade. He's got 11. And Clark back to Wade in the ball. Oh! Defense just swung wide open for him there. Easy shot. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they didn't put up any resistance at all. And Kevin Durant with the slam. Boy, that dunk got everybody up off their seat. Oh, they're loving it, aren't they, Steve? Well, how could they not? I mean, he put the cherry on top of the Sunday on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Harden against LeBron for the three and James Harden hits from deep Harden's got himself on the board with three there and Oklahoma City is really a team that's at its best when they get out in transition in fact a year ago they averaged better than 16 fast break points a game that was sixth in the league A minute 50 left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Wade. It's hauled in by Collison. Collison's got seven rebounds. Oh! Man, oh man, oh man. For a guy who's not the biggest player on the court, 
I mean, that's a humongous finish. Well, he's capable of those clubs. Oh! 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 Boom! And nobody getting in the way. Not at all. Major throwdown. From the way. Only question there was who was going to finish it. Easy, fast break. Yeah, you know what? And uh, I think they made the right call there, Steve. Another three, and we've just seen a barrage from long range here in the second half. Well, they have come out blazing. And defensively, it's hard to deny that shot. I mean, that's a lot of ground to cover when a team spreads you out like they do. Goes up at the stripe. They rule this one. Goaltender, count the shot. You can say anything you want about this guy. He's played well in every area. And you know what? That tells you what kind of game it's been for him. Well-rounded, highly productive in all areas. James Jones, who's checked in for LeBron. Wait. But they recover it. Turyov dishes to Jones. Drills the three-pointer. Jones has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. The Thunder leading by four. The dive for the ball. Back to Durant. The tray. Here's Collison. Nice second effort. Good job staying with it. Collison's got his second bucket. Points in the paint have been the main. Oh, in the jam high way. What a play. They had a clear path to the hoop the whole way. Yeah, it doesn't get much easier than that, Steve. And here's Harden for three. Rebound by Mario Chalmers. Solo break. The finish. And then Bosch with the jam. How about that? Nice and easy right there. Yeah, he didn't even try to do it too much. No, nope, no fancy stuff. He'll just take his two points, go back and play some defense. Durant just inside the line. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Now Tyrion. Jones, that's for two. That's good on the jump shot. Jones has got five. And the pace has really ramped up in the second half. Westbrook and Harden in the backcourt. And it's Durant in at the small forward. The three from Harden. They get it back. Over Chalmers. Scooped up. Here's Westbrook. Ibaka. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. To tie it up. Jones, the pass to Turioff. Pushes up. It's good. This game is all even. Turioff's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Heat. Shoots off the step back. Again, Durant missing. Fast break. Here we go. Here's Jones. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. It's on Kevin Durant. You know, the Thunder guys showed their talent in the playoffs last season. I think that devastating loss to Dallas in game four of the conference finals was where they finally kind of caved in. And the Heat making a change here. Bosch has checked in. Well, he certainly can't be happy leaving points at the line, but at least he got them the lead. Harden kicks to Westbrook. Vicious to Ibaka. Outside for Durant. Over Jones. Snatched up. Collison dishes to Ibaka. And it's good. And the Thunder lead by one. What a game. This is really fun to watch. And when games are tight like this, I mean, success or failure can really turn on small details in one or two plays. And Clark, you mentioned game four of that uh, Oklahoma City-Dallas series. A 15-point lead for the Thunder with five minutes left in the game. Dallas came back and forced overtime. And I remember the Thunder's incredible fans. Even admits the most heartbreaking loss of the season. Uh, they were chanting OKC, OKC till the bitter end. They have diehard support there in Oklahoma City. Wade misses. Boy, look at the rebound. Oh! Boy, he's got enough hang time there to put a little something extra on that one. Two scoops of ice cream after that. <laughs> well, that's a play that's going to be remembered from this game, that's for sure. I think that was more like a banana split, Clark. <laughs> Timeout called the Heat.
Braun. He's checked in for James Jones. And let's get this update now from Doris Burkers across the way on the sideline. Guys, over that last break, I listened to Eric Spolstra address his team. He talked mainly about giving them a different look defensively and dropping more bodies into the paint, saying, listen, they're eating us up on the inside, and we need to do whatever it takes to stop. Guys, back to you. And Chris Bosch with the slam. Tell you what, it has been all offense all game long. You know what? This is really fun to watch, guys. I mean, as a coach, though, this is when you want to just harness this. In oh! <laughs> that should be absolutely illegal. Boy, right down to the wire here, Clark and Steve. Still anyone's ball game. Both teams really invested now. I mean, this is the type of game you, you love to win, and you'd hate to lose Oof, it. Boy, after all this, this energy that both teams have expended, uh, you're right, Clark. This would be a tough one to lose. The Heat with the lead. Wade outside. He's really struggling in this quarter right now. They need to think about getting the ball out of his hand. Wade missing again. Great second half. I mean, he came out of that locker room ready to play. Here's LeBron. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. An excellent game we've seen from LeBron. 16 points and also three steals. Really dominating this game. Just taking it over. Just making it look effortless as well. He couldn't make them all, but at least he got this game tied up. Here's Durant. Oh, went in there and tried to power it down. But true contact, he'll head to the line. Almost got the end one, just couldn't get the shot to fall. Well, he did get the trip to the foul line, though, Steve. That's a nice move. And he can't convert on the second. That misses. He hasn't had as many opportunities at the line as he had in the first half. And Turioff slams it in. He decided to hang around for a while. A little extra hang time on that dunk and made sure the photo op didn't go to waste. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Uh... Oh! oh! Wow! No concern or regard for the big man at all. He just took it to him with that magnificent throwdown. He's just so clutch. Here's a guy you want on your side with the game on the line, Kevin. Miami trailing. Westbrook is tagged with the reach. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. Both free throws good from Wade. Well, the pressure doesn't phase him. But you can feel the intensity in the air. This game is tight and tense. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. The timeout called the Heat. The score nodded at 73. 130 left to play in the final quarter. One thirty left in the fourth quarter. Gathers. Pushing it up. Here's Durant. The shot is off. And Miami will go the other way with the ball. Durant hits the reach-in call. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. It's the first that gives them the lead. Two for two, and it's a two-point ball game. Big free throws there to put them out in front. Every point counts when it's this close. Lifts up. So the whistle blows on the shot, and two free throws for the contact right there. Mario Chalmers picks one up. Nice time to use that foul to stop the layup. You know, if you can save just one point, that foul was the right move. Here's LeBron. 109 left in the fourth quarter. And Bosch backs down. Back to LeBron. Oh, oh! Oh, special delivery. He sends it down. Boy, is it tough to stop LeBron right now. Here's Harden. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Well, they did have a foul to give, but they couldn't get it done before the shot attempt. 
Yeah, you really want to try to foul in that situation before he gets into the shooting motion. And it just didn't work out that time. 51 seconds left in the game. Here's Wade. The slam dunk by Wade. Boy, coming through with the game in the balance. Yep, a game-changing clutch bucket there. Westbrook kicks to Durant. He's picked up by LeBron. Tell you what, the defense wasn't backing down there because usually he can use his strength to fight through contact. Running out of time. Durant gets called for the reach. That's his third foul so far. On a situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. Sinks the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. He's off that time. Second free throw missing. And here are the Thunder now. They've trailed by as many as eight points. The three from Harden. Second shot opportunity. Goes up again. Launches it. Count it! And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. I don't think they can afford to foul here, Kevin. Now they're over the limit. And what they need to do is just play smart defense. Timeout called the Heat. Here's Wade. They set the pick. Yes! Kevin, that's what you expect from him. When the pressure's at its highest, with the game on the line, that's when he's at his best. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. They trail by two. Just two seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. The three from Harden. Count it! He looks good, getting it done consistently from deep. Steve, I know you love the three ball, and uh, he's been sharp, kind of like Steve Kerr used to be. So a close game sees Oklahoma City taking this one. Clark, it was anybody's game right to the very end. Yeah, it 